Hello and welcome to today's urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really good video for you today where I'm going to be explaining the reason why I am in a long position right now on Bitcoin. The high that we are making right now, I am not going to short. Based off of the order flow that we are getting right now, I'm going to explain why I'm not shorting this yet, why I'm looking for higher, why I'm in a long, and what we're looking for over the next week to come. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to absolutely love this video. Pay attention because the levels that we give, they get respected. CC Paul sending their regards and here we go straight into the analysis. This is what we, we love this. Let's go. I love this game. So, right. Let's really quickly recap the last few days of price action here, then moving on to what's happening exactly right now with this order flow. So we obviously saw this back on last month, end of last month, when I'd done that public video, where were we trading at? We were trading up at around that $32,000 resistance, $33,000 resistance zone, okay? That is the value area low of the larger range. And what actually happened was we put in the range up here, in the end broke to the downside. We were ready last month with our zone of support, even while trading at $32,000. That 29,300 zone was our big support level. That's the level we were ready and waiting for, should it drop from $32,000, you know, that's where we're ready and waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I then reminded my team on the 1st of June, as that drop started to actually come to fruition, we were getting that drop, reminding my team, do not forget about this 29,300 zone. This is the big level of support. Okay, and as we know, in the end, well, if you've been following along, we got our first initial bounce off of that. You can see this touch of the POC absolutely perfectly. Touch of that POC rallied to around $30,500, which was an old like key level, which we basically back tested as resistance for one push to the downside, that one and final push ending in what I can only describe as if you follow chart champions, if you've studied our content, if you know how I love to trade, you were really gifted one of the easiest long trades that you're ever gonna take because it was a simple swing failure pattern. So that low that was put in off of the first touch of the POC here, we saw a rally, move to the downside, simple, simple swing failure pattern, as you can see there coming in on the 3rd of June, Swing failure pattern of the low. From here, you are gifted that long opportunity. Okay, you're gifted the long opportunity. Why? Because now you have a really simple stop loss. Yeah, you can take this long straight away. That's a swing failure pattern. Stop loss below the low, and you're in that long trade. Okay, and from here, we can see we grinding, 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 grinding before a big push up this morning, obviously coming into the, um, you know, into, <laughs> into the weekly open new start of the week. And from here, I've told you, I am in a long position. I am not going to short here and I am looking for higher right now. Well, let me explain this on the order flow briefly. We are seeing at the moment, you know, shorts getting really aggressive into this high. First of all, I think they're going to get squeezed and we're going to push higher. We are seeing bullish divergences here on the CVD as well. Looks like we actually might be getting this push up right now. I'm just looking for at least, at the very least, for this high to be taken based off of the order flow. Okay, at the very least, then that high currently is 31,450 more or less. I'm at least looking for that high to be taken out, uh, if not higher. And if we see if we are pushing higher, we can look to this old range point of control slash the daily. Okay, the daily is going to be key. Again, this is a bit of a zone from around 31,660 to around 31,000. Um, 800 ish. So this daily resistance, if we break this daily resistance, well, I'm going to really simply be looking up to this past high to $33,000, obviously our overall range high. So it's kind of a level to level game for me. I'm in a long, I know not to short yet based off of the order flow. I'm at least looking for this high to be taken out, if not better and higher. Well, I'm going to be happy with that. You can see how we're trading a game of probabilities. Okay. There's no guarantees in trading. Could fall down now. I could be wrong, but yeah, it doesn't seem the most likely, let's be honest. And we're probably going to be pushing up higher, at least to take out that last high. Then we can take a game, once again, look at the order flow, see if we get any trap longs into the break of that high. But you can see we're trading a game of probabilities. But guess what? When you've got the probabilities on your favor, the levels, you know, we're looking at nearly 10% declines to the downside. And we're still able to recognize the exact levels where price is going to bounce. Then you're given trades such as swing failure patterns at the very low of a major, major support level. You know, these are just trades that you've got to take. And then once you're in in that trade where you can remain patient and at times like this I need to I know I can remain patient I know I'm not going to short this yet I know I'm looking for higher and yeah it's as simple as that yeah make a plan trade the plan uh, trade what's actually happening on the chart yeah you can have biases you can have opinions but at the end of the day trade what's actually happening and the order flow on, on this is this is our major advantage this is what gives us the edge over the competition you'll see um, you know whether I'm right or wrong on this 
Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I'm excited and I am going to trade this. Um, so I, I, I'm going to keep trying to keep this one short and sweet. Last things that I'll end with is, uh, you know, well done to the other people, the other champions that are getting into these type of trades. You can see here, without chart champions, this would never be happening to me. Thank you for the accumulation video. That was really aiding his trading idea. Another person getting into the longs there, a champion at around 29,300. This was the zone we were ready and waiting for. Here we are trading right now up at around $31,400. What a trade. Shout out to you, my friend. More than happy to help. And again, if you want to see that accumulation pattern video, that was all over on the website on the last contender stream that I done. Last night I done the champions live stream, which again, if you wanna see that champions live stream, you can check that out right now on the website. You can see this is some of the feedback from the members, really liking, you know, the, the renewed effort and, you know, strength and get go that I'm putting into this right now. I'm trying to keep everything more professional, more concise, more clean, and more easy to understand. There's no cryptic messages, just, you know, this is my plan. I have the confidence, let's go get it. <laughs> you know, it's as simple as that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this quick update. There we go, that's taken the high. I'm gonna go back to trade this. Thank you ever so much, and I absolutely love you all. If you wanna see more from me, chartchampions.com. Swing for your power, I love you. I'm gonna get back, cheers everybody. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload this onto YouTube right now. Uh, again, if you want the, uh, live updates in the time as it's happening. I'm going to post in Discord right now. But for me, that's it. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And look, that's the power of the order flow. That is the power of the order flow. Love you. Cheers. And have a great day. Oh, ending with not financial advice. This is, of course, all just for educational entertainment reasons only. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to go back over to the charts right now and uh, have a good day. Goodbye.